a very good morning students we are back with our science class today we are going to discuss about structure of a seed now what is the structure of a seed now flowers produce seeds by reproduction seeds are very important as they grow to produce a new plant So let's discuss about seeds. A seed is the part of a seed plant which can grow into a new plant. It is a reproductive structure which disperses and can survive for some time. A typical seed includes the following basic parts. So the first part that we come is an embryo. which contains two parts that is plumule and radicle now plumule is the baby shoot that becomes the first shoot of the plant and radicle is the baby shoot comes the first root of the plant then cotyledons we also call it seed leaves a supply of nutrients for the embryo so cotyledon supplies nutrients for the growth of embryo then seed coat which is also known as testa protects the seed from injury and drying out and microfill a tiny hole in the testa or you can call seed coat that allows water to enter the seed so we will be discussing about this parts in details now we'll come to the first part that is seed coat also known as testa now seed is covered by a seed coat this is hard outer covering of the seed which protects the embryo that is the baby plant from harsh conditions and saves the seed from drying out for example almonds are seeds protected by hard seed coat when we crack it open the fleshy almonds comes out same as walnuts they have a hard seed coat that protects the fleshy walnut inside so seed coat plays a very important role to protect the embryo now let's come to the second part that is microfill it is a tiny hole can you see the tiny hole here in the seed coat that allows water to enter the seed so here this is the hole from where water enters inside the seed okay so this is called microfill okay you can see it in all the seeds they have a tiny hole from where the water enters in the seed now we'll come to the cotyledon part which is also known as seed leaves all endosperm okay now under the seed coat is the endosperm can you see this is you can call it endosperm or you can also call it seed seed leaves or cotyledons okay now you you will find this under the seed coat which occupies the maximum part of the seed can you see this cotyledons occupies the maximum part of the seed it stores food for the baby plant the baby plant uses this food till it grows its own roots and leaves okay so till the baby plant develops its own root or shoot it uses the food which is stored in this cotyledon to grow up okay now we also eat the cotyledons of many seeds like all nuts now nuts as they are rich source of carbohydrates and proteins vitamins and minerals so we eat this cotyledon part clear 
Now we'll come to the most important part of a seed that is embryo that is baby plant present inside the seed. Now this embryo has two parts one is radical and plumule. Now one of the most important part of the seed is embryo. Okay, so embryo has everything that a seed needs to grow into a new plant. As the seed grows when shown, radical produces the first root. Can you see the first root part? And the plumule produces the shoot that is the baby plant. Clear? So can you see here the plumule part that is a baby shoot? It has two visible leaves with a growing point enclosed between them. Okay? And this is the radical part that is baby shoot where embryo embryonic root which grows and develops into the root system of the plant. So students, some seeds have only one seed leaf. That means only one cotyledon. They are called monocotyledons, also called as monocots. Mono means one. And the seed having two seed leaf here i have taken an example of a of a seed which has two seed leaves okay or you can say two cotyledons they are called dicotyledons or dicots di means two so what are the example how will you understand which seed is monocotyledons and which seed is dicotyledons it's very simple all grains are monocots okay and all pulses are dicots. So students, you must have this question in your mind that all seeds can grow into a new plant. Let's study. Most plants reproduce through seeds. A plant produces many seeds, but all of them do not get a chance to grow into a new plant. All seeds does not develop into a new plant. All seeds do not grow into a new plant because some seeds are eaten up by humans, birds and animals. Some seeds do not get the proper condition to grow. That is the proper condition meaning proper uh, facility of getting water, sunlight or soil. Isn't it? Some seeds are destroyed by strong winds or heavy rains. So there are several conditions through which seeds get damaged or destroyed and they cannot grow into a new plant. And some of the seeds which are lucky, they get all the available conditions which help them to grow into a new plant. So today students we have studied structure of a seed and how a new plant grows from a seed and what conditions are needed for a seed to grow into a new plant. Hope you have understood it. Thank you class.